Hi there everyone, this is GoBro Gaming and I'm coming at you with another new entry on my channel today. You see the controller? You see this? This means retro gaming. That's what this PS4 controller means. I've never gotten a normal PS P PC controller, so it's retro gaming and we are doing Luigi's Mansion. Yes, I know, it's, it's another Mario game. That's not necessarily the hallmark of spontaneity, seeing as I've done so many Super Mario 64s. But I love Luigi's Mansion. Like, I have played this game some, not gonna lie. I love this game. And I just honestly wanted to put it on the channel. I'm like, you know, honestly for me, in Mario games, since, you know, I've said it more than once, this, that's really the furthest I've ever gotten in Super Mario 64. I never really played it much at all, if any. Like, I think I had in the past, but my memory's foggy. Very, very foggy. Anyways, so we're just going to have it do a new game of this and we're just gonna get into it. We're gonna go we're gonna go have some fun and that would always say we're gonna have some fun. Love these old GameCube graphics. I can't get over it. Yes, it's an emulator. PS4 controller, we're not working on GameCube, I am pretty sure. Especially when I think about the ports. Your mansion is here. Now that mansion yeah, it looks like an epic little murder house. It's got the little eyes and the little, like, almost like a little mustache over the doorway. And the, the, one, the one crow looks distressed and the other crow's like, yeah, you go on in there. You go on in there and you die. <laughs> and I'm still a little wheezy. I seem to be like just having a little bit, you know how that goes. So if my voice is scratchy, nothing I can do about it. I'll actually be segueing off this episode and doing a Sun the Skies episode, mm -hmm. so wonderful. And I can only pray that it records right, because it was not wanting me to run the recording program over the game. So here I am hoping, like, oh, don't screw me over, please. But anyways, let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. He moves fast, just like his brother. Let me, let me adjust the controls. Yeah. Y'all are going to see me searching. Oh, I'm trying to vacuum stuff up already. I don't even have a vacuum yet. Now that door's locked. We ain't even going to try it. In fact, I know exactly where to go. So here we go. This is actually one of those games. You see, what I was doing I was, is I was sitting there and I'm like, I really want to play a game. I know what's going to happen. Hmm. <laughs> like, I, I want us to have some fun, but I want to play a game that I know what's going to happen. And y'all, I can't wait for me to be wrong. Mario. See Mario? But this game, I actually played this game a lot with my grandma. I've said that before on other retro games, or I should just say Super Mario 64 since this is the second entry in the retro series. But yeah, me and grandma used to play this a lot. And what's funny is she never did like games necessarily like this. She was not a huge Nintendo fan save for the Metroid series. Cause I never got into Link, so she never got to explore that. But other than the Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star and this. That was all she ever got into. Now GameCube wise, she was also big on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Do y'all remember that game? Do you y'all play that game? That was um, a turn-based strategy game. Okay, here we go. You know, in all truth, if I was in a mansion in a, in a babbling, glowing, orange, creamsicle cloud, dropped a key, I'd probably be out. That or I'd be like, you know, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> I feel so bad for the Ouija guys. Like, oh my gosh, like he he's so adorable, but Lord, he's a coward, isn't he? <laughs> he's over there. <laughs> I can't even shake like him. I'm afraid if I shake too much, the beard might come out, or my you know my belly might jiggle too much. Mm -mm. And this, guys, is why when we'll notice in a second, you got has like one teeth, at, one tooth, I think. This is why he only has one tooth. Ouch! Oof! I should take a lot of knocks in this line of work. See, he got one tooth. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyways, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad, but you might know me as an old Bill Murray. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. Well, a young, what's a young fella like you doing around here? Anywho. I always thought anywho was spelled with a W-H-O. Uh-oh, this looks ugly. Pac-Man's coming, run! Alright, youngsters. Look lively. Follow me post-haste. 
So your name's Luigi? I think I passed with Destin. That's like a romantic little line, ain't it, little man? To cross. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where's this, you ask? I don't think he asked anything. I think you're imagining hearing voices. You got a little old man. Have you been exploring the dementia highway? Why? These cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. Well, I've ate a lot of stuff for shortening in it, so I'm probably of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest? You didn't even enter. Sounds pretty fishy. Why do I feel like I'm giving this guy like a super southern accent back? Am I being super southern today? I think I am. I, I am being a search. Mm. Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream and a, or an illusion or what. Oh, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. <laughs> I think I think people of my generation would, wouldn't we guys? Like, hell, we were a haunted house. We put up a little GoPro camera, film our own little supernatural. You, you want to film a supernatural angle. You don't want to film a paranormal activity angle. Don't pull out the Ouija boards. Don't. Now that I get a look at you, I've just recalled. A guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? Well, I'd say that the way they dress is rather specific, wouldn't you, Egad? Yeah. Though so with those glasses, I don't know, do you even have eyes, love? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. I know, right? Luigi always got the stiff end of the stick. Like hell, he wasn't even in Super Mario 64. What, is there a statue to him, I think, or something? Like seriously, what? why couldn't he be invited? I can tell you, why his girlfriend's the one not always getting kidnapped. Daisy's off doing her own thing. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother Luigi. I read, the way I read that song, that Luigi was brother. I love this. I love all this. Like this. I can't help it. The old, the oldness. I love the oldness. That's the vacuum cleaner. Why, why does this guy talk like a damn Sims character? Your half Sims, and I, and I love your enthusiastic hair. I wish the hair on top of my head was that enthusiastic. Heck, you could stab some ass out with that. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it. This is genius. The Poltergeist 3000. Sounds like birds. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let it rip. Okay, I'm not gonna read off the tutorial on this. I need no tutorial on this. Y'all don't. Look at this vacuum. Oh yes. Oh yes, we're gonna be the we're gonna be the cleanliness person ever. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Well something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuum in time. Here goes the fun music. Okay. Give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listen to me yap about it. How do I do the flashlight? I, I don't know how to try flash. Okay, wait, wait. And boop. Oh, look. You got the green sickle ghost. I'm not going to try to eat it. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance. Oh my god, I just realized he is getting into this. I mean, look at him down there. He's jet laying it up. Okay, let's just turn this off. I'm gonna turn. Hello! I bet y'all are just dying for the day that I learned how to edit out these little tutorials, right? When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Okay, honey. Whatever will I do? Oh, I'm, I missed one. Dang it. That's almost perfect. Where are you? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna get stuck in this. Okay, pow pow. Pow pow pang. Be quiet. What are you? You laughing at me? Come here. Laugh at that. Ghosts love to hide in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? Well, I guess it is. 
Oh, ha, ha, that ghost is in a dark place. Sounds almost evil, just the hey, like, do they need a ghost therapist? Here, there, here they come. Don't do that, don't, don't start being... Oh, oh lord, oh lord, there's too much going on. Oh lord. I only caught one. Caught two. Now where's the... Oh. Well, seven ghosts. That's how to do it, Luigi. Well, I let two get away, but do they care? Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gathering? I'm quite proud of it, you know. The gathering. Off we go. Oh, look at this lovely gallery with the, the, you know, you know how to set up a little, like, you know, there ain't no paintings here, right? And there's also, like, can I vacuum this? Yes, there are things I don't know about this game. I have just actually played it more than the other games. And there's not jack crap in here. I just came here, I don't know, show you guys. Anybody who ain't never seen it, there's a gallery, nothing in here yet. We'll check it out later when we fill it up. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Oh, that thing. God, Game Boy Horror. Mm. It's a, that's a throwback. Where will you go, Luigi? The mansion. Careful now, Luigi. You know, we give Luigi some crap. He, he, like I said, he often gets the short end of the stick. But look at this boy. He's going up here. And he's going into the haunted house. He's about to have to face some paranormal activity. Some poltergeist. Some, some, you know, evil possessions and everything. And, you know, Mario never had to mess with that. Mario just had to mess with some booze. Where did you go, Mario? Wham, wham. Okay, stop wham. Huh, Luigi? Wow, wow, it's Luigi. You finally see, he actually tried to cry a little there, and then he realized, no, I shouldn't do that. This guy's my only savior, Mario, ain't coming. Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. Then. When I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mile anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Or, you know, she'll just have to get someone else to rescue her. Leave it to me. You can actually say goodbye. That's so mean. Yay! Thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. And the lights came on tonight. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Yeah, save for me. Thank you. Because we have done so much, right? Talk to me for help anytime. You can save, baby. There's not much else you can Mario. do. Mario! Yeah, I always mess around with everything. Because, like, everything in this game can be a go. I love that he actually has a reflection, by the way. Look at this. His nose. I love his nose. You know, it just bounces. <laughs> okay, I'm being a dork. Anyways, up we go. And yes, when I say I'm going to check everything, obviously I'm going to start forgetting to. And then y'all are going to be like, hey, I thought you said you were going to check everything. And, ooh, crap, there's money. There's money and it's all falling down here. And yes, the money will vanish after a while. So quick. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Is that gonna happen again if I stay here? Oh my god, I've never had that happen before. You little <laughs> asshole ghost. <laughs> I don't know, it's like I say, I love finding random things in these games. Like, okay, I know that door's locked. And there's nothing in that jaw. And there's just more gold around here. You see, we're saving up for his next mansion. I don't know. I remember when I was a kid and I got this game. And when I say when I was a kid, I think I was actually pre-teenage when I got this game. I do not know for sure. But I remember this game still... It gave me a beat of the heebie-jeebies. Granted, this was before I had gotten desensitized to violence and horror in games. Like, I played... Ever since then, I have played way too much... Amnesia and what else? We have amnesia, we have Lord. 
Evil Within, Five Nights at Freddy's, Bend in the Ink Machine. I don't know. Cuphead. Cuphead ain't scary. Whatever. I'm gonna blow these out. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you. Blue hoo hair. Now you're in for it. Look I don't know if that's a guy or girl. Just like little red cat before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark little man? Are you? Huh? The her. Here they are now. Oh, y'all know who y'all messing with. I and Luigi, I have my little vacuum. I watched Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I know what to do. When a ghost asks, well, when a ghost asks, if you are a god, you say yes. And when Serena Weaver gets possessed, you just let her do her own thing. Don't piss her off. By the way, I never realized, like, uh, of course, I am playing Luigi's Mansion in honor of the fact that there's actually... Okay, stop it. But there's actually Luigi's Mansion 3 coming out soon. And I have been such a big fan of the series. Y'all will definitely see me playing that. I'm going to figure out how to stream or record on the Twitch. On the, on the Twitch? On the Switch. The Twitch on the Switch. And we are going to get further into that. Because I I cannot wait for that game to come out. It's just like Animal Crossing. I'm, I'm just such a dork for Nintendo. I can't help it. Anything else? Y'all ain't gonna say nothing now, are you? I killed your little ghost friends. Well, I didn't kill them. I'm sure I trapped them and maybe they're like having tea in a vacuum, but... They're being forced to have tea in the back. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I always hated those things. They always manage to like come your way after a while if you're not careful. Oh, more money. You know, I, I just love how wasteful some of these people are. These little gold coins and this chain sitting around. It's like, what the heck were you doing? Why do you have all this sitting around all the time? Like, th were you that rich? Or were you that poor? Because you kept losing all your money all the time. Now, I don't know how far we're going to get into this. I prefer to keep the retro episodes shorter. But, you know, it's like always, if y'all love Luigi's Mansion. But if y'all love Luigi's Mansion and y'all want to see more Luigi's Mansion, heck, I'll go through all of it. Y'all can just request it. Because I'm, I'm laxing off on some of my usual. I've been having some issues with Subnautica, so we're taking a break from Subnautica. And with Amnesia coming to a close, I've got the Retro Series and Sun in the Skies and whatever else new stuff pops up in my brain and I say, oh, they might like this. And always, as remember, if y'all are winning, like and subscribe. I mean, heck, you know, it don't hurt you to like and subscribe. I'm trying. I'm building up my YouTube level. I'm learning how to edit and everything, so I hope the videos are partially entertaining. I'm even, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, but seriously, I want to know why these girls kind of do look like the ones from Pac-Man. Well, we did that well. I was even being able to talk. We're at Ghostbusters level 2 now. Now, my question is, did this game have a Ghostbusters reference? Because if not, that was a missed... Ooh, go bar. Like, this game needed a ton of Ghostbusters references. And I'm so glad that the next Ghostbusters movie is coming out soon, by the mm -hmm. way, too. I don't know the exact date on anything, but it said 2020. <laughs> No, I could have gotten it. Give me the coins. No, you don't get my coins. Okay, wait. Let's turn. You see, it's easy for Pat, man. He does like me. He just eats things. I actually have to, like, work to catch these guys. What are you laughing at? You didn't catch nobody. I love how rude they are. Now, where's, where's that little green one? Does anyone else realize that this one is kind of like the ghost of Donkey Kong, basically? Get these bananas up before they trip me. Oh no! I sacrificed a coin for you, so I caught you. We got this, guys. Mm, come on, Luigi! Don't hit the banana! We're good. We're doing good. What is this room? The ante room or whatever? Now if I remember correctly. Hello? Yeah. Oh! I 
thought there would actually be more ghosts than that. Oh, many. Many, 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 many. Mario. Wouldn't you know if that was real life and there was just money sitting right... Oh. Mm -hmm. You go back your butt right back in there. Mm -hmm. Don't you start pulling that stuff like in I was doing yeah. in Super Mario 64 going back and forth. What about the light fixture? Anything in you? Oh, there's a heart. Give me that. Give me, give me. And there's key. See this key? Didn't even know it's the key or was I the first one to know it's the key? Like I said, I know a few things. We ain't gonna get lost here. We're in the wardrobe room. One thing I've always liked about Nintendo is they have a good way of just putting personality in their games. Like, wah, wah, Mario, where are you, wah? What, 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 what you think you're gonna wah louder? He gonna come? Huh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. I didn't realize there's a player too. Please, please, please say Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? Well, if you couldn't find him, why the heck would I know? Now, I remember something that I actually figured out by accident when playing this on GameCube. I think if you water this, which we can't yet, we get that ability on down the road. If you water this, I think it actually pays you out something like, because you know, the game kind of proceeds in chapters based on the bosses you defeat. Which, we're going to get our taste of some boss ghosts. Y'all know me. I don't, I'm not going to call it off till we at least see some bosses and get some gold stars or whatever. I have my hallmarks, my daily goals, and that's what we're doing. But here we go. Let's get over here. Don't you just love how he just... Hmm? Hmm. Every time I go to go on a dialogue, something happens. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Gad. I detect spirits stronger than what we've seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of the escaped gallery ghosts. The Van Boo. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first... Okay, thank you. I will search it for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. This game is like sun in the skies. It's going to push how well I can actually... speak. But didn't you just love it, Luigi? Like, you know, he just... I don't know. Luigi's so much more awesome than Mario, in my opinion. Like, he's just... He's like, yeah, I'm player two, but I'm awesome player two. Player two, you know, it takes one plus one to make two. So he's twice the Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this little trail of gold coins. I remember falling for this. Look, you follow this? That ain't a doll. I don't even have to scan it. That is not a doll. Mm -hmm. Mario! Mm -hmm. And here's our first little room. Mm -hmm. The study. And oh yeah, did you see a glimpse of that? You see that? That is, I think, Orville is his name? Now how the, how the, how the heck do I do this now? No wait, I, I didn't even have to check him. He yawns, he's lazy. I'm gonna punish him for his laziness. Come here. This is so easy. This one's so easy. Don't you dare hit me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Did it hit me? It didn't hit me. Collect the pearls. Collect the pearls before they vanish. Boom. Go Luigi. Go Luigi. Luigi can't dance, so this is the best I can do. <laughs> I don't even remember what he says there. I was going to scan him and then I'm like, oh yeah, he yawns. That works. We punished him for his slothfulness. We punished him for his slothfulness and his bad use of money. Now, we'll be segueing off of this likely to do a new episode of Sunless Skies. Yeah, we have the books. We'll read the books later. We'll read the books later. I want to get further into the actual game itself. And yes, I'm skipping around the little chest. I'm checking to see what else is here. Okay, that's it. What, did I get the chip? Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. And we got a key. <laughs> I love how he holds the phone so neatly. How do you do? I guess he does that. I guess he does that like this. Haha. <laughs> okay, we got the study. Now how the heck do I scan something with this? Oh, there we go. No, that ain't it. You have to remember my buttons are set up differently, guys. Oh, it is. Oh, it's O. It's <laughs> a weird coincidence. It's actually O. It's the one button I didn't click earlier. So the next one's name. Oh, look at the little mouse. We're going to catch the little mouse. Oh, there's another, another little mouse. We are the vermin. Come here. 
Now the next one I think is actually Lydia. See, I'm showing off all my knowledge of this game. I know, I, I think that's it. I think those are the two names. In fact, I don't know if I was right about his name. But this is Lydia, I'm pretty sure. I remember that she brushes her hair in the corner. A lot like me, 10 years ago, when I actually had hair. See, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Now, we can actually face her like this, and we hit A, or well, X in this case. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I just spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though. So everything is coming up roses. Now notice how it didn't really tell us a dang way she likes her hair. Okay, she likes her hair. Now what happens in the south, in the north, in the east, in the west, no matter where you're from, what happens? The wind blows and messes up your hair. So we're going to go right here. You see this? You see this? Boop. And we're just going to tug it to the left. See that? Ooh, such dread. I think I missed my chance. I did. Come on, Lydia. Don't be like that. I'm going to have to really mess up your hair, girl. Now, you see, just like her husband. Her husband's weakness was slow. And hers was vanity. I punish you for your sins like some medieval Catholic priest that has a vacuum and captures ghosts. Boom. Come on, get those pearls. Get those pearls. Get the money. Get the money. Get the money. I mean, we're doing pretty good. I ain't died yet. I don't care how good I say I'm at the game. When I haven't died in a game, that's when it's going well. And yes, you're going to see every bed unmade. Everything shook. Any chance for money? And that poor toad standing out there probably wondering what the heck happened? Any money? Any money? It's going faster and faster. Yes, I knew it. Patience is a virtue in this game. Now you guys keep eyes out for any retro Easter eggs. I don't know what I may have missed. Oh, I'm not missing this money, that's for sure. Now we have, we have actually Lydia and her hubby wubby's little ghost bubby. And I'll probably end the episode on that. We're gonna Mario take out the ghost bubby. Which we ironically ah. get the key for here. Of course the mother has the key for the baby child, yes. And here we are, we are in the master bedroom. Ah. I get the sense that Lydia might not have been close to her husband. Baby, ghost baby needs some ghost milk, I'm guessing. We just got rid of his... Look, there goes in the key. You see, the keys in these doors actually make sense. They ain't like on Super Mario 64 where the key damn lock hole takes up like half of the door. Here we go, Luigi. You ain't gotta be scared, baby. We got us all behind you. Now this one, this one's really easy. We're gonna scan it, of course. You hear the ghost summon? Horsey, rock, rocky horsey. You see that? This one's pretty simple to solve. You see, there's the coins. I mean, what do you what do you think we gotta do? There's a horsey. We obviously can't get on the horsey, so we just do this. Jealous little prick of a baby. Hey, you wanna play with me? Not really. I don't play with children. I know what to do. I know what to do. We do this. Oof. I boofed ya. <laughs> I hit a baby with its toy. I'm evil. I'm joking. Ow, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Well, I hate you, child, so we're even. Why do you have to be bigger than me? Because I ate my spinach, obviously. Do you not see all the green? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itsy, tiny, little, wee. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Y'all ain't getting that. Y'all can get a lot of things. Y'all ain't gonna get me making no baby noises. Now look at this trippy psychedelic earthbound nightmare. I knew I should have taken those mushrooms before coming in here. Which is Mario, so they always eat mushrooms. Great. 
and that you ain't gonna win South Georgia Baby Pageant of the Year with that face. Oh, I love this, this style. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna hit me. I'm a veteran at Nintendo games. You ain't gonna hit nothing. One thing I'm hoping they bring back in Luigi's Mansion 3 is actually the boss monsters with this sort of personality. Like, each of the boss monsters in this game had personality. Now look, we just do this. And boop. What was happening here? Now you see, it won't let us get him in one run. He is the, the first chapter boss monster. Now you see, this is a baby after my own heart. It is clear that it eats the heavy duty stuff, like, you know, it eats the hamburgers. You hear that? Like, it knows the belly flop. Why does it look like if e -Guy and Lydia had a baby? You see that hair sticking up? That is e -Guy's trademark, if anything. Maybe that's why one was in the master bedroom and one was in the study. Hmm. Now, honestly, I think this baby is like twice e -Guy's size. Yes, yes, yes. You know, just there you go. Is this child abuse? Is Luigi gonna get put in church jail? Possibly. Does it count if it's a ghost child? I don't know if it counts if it's a ghost child. Can you abuse a ghost? Sounds like something I should ask Taps. If anyone's ever abused ghosts, it's that group from Ghost Avengers. <laughs> Come at me, ghost! Oh no! Yeah, you see, I have done this round. And for some reason, this baby used to freak me out so badly. Like, I mean, why wouldn't it freak them out? It's an angry baby that throws stuff at you. But you know, this is back when Nintendo, in fact, I still think they do, had very methodical... Oh no, I kinda got hit! Oh, you little brat, I would've done perfect! How dare you get in the back room? Go be with your parents at Ghost Jail. I can't. If Luigi can do it, I can do it. Now let's see, what's up here? I wanna know why there's so much money in the light fixtures. Like Nintendo, how do you justify this? Look at those little baby pictures. Those are those little baby pictures. He looks like an unhappy, like, was he born dead? Like, I'm confused. How does Ghost Baby I don't even want to know. That sounds depressing. I don't want to know how Ghost Baby comes to be. Forget I asked. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. It's a cute little pink heart key. Look at that. That is adorable. We did it. Luigi. I'm not going to do the curse. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your poultry ghost does and gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho ho, I, what you call me? I'm joking. That's my one. That's my one. I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. I said it right first try. I'm so proud of myself. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm. How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Portrificationizer 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. I don't know if I would have been able to figure that out at first. Like, how are the ghosts not slipping around the side of it? Oh, look at them. They're like little baby boos, but without the mouth. Now, this is what happens when you get a demonic washer. No, oh, they're all flat. The ghosts are invisible. Look, he Naruto runs. So we need to press them into visible forms. He Naruto runs. I love it. And presto, turn him into beautiful ghost portraits. There's the baby. There's Orville, I think his name is. 
and it is Lydia. We did it. Hmm. Well, we've managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for the, your help, Luigi. <laughs> now you call? Neville. Neville. Lydia. And Chauncey. See, Neville didn't survive Harry Potter. He did here. Orville's close. Orville's close. It, it, you know, everybody likes Orville more. Neville might have cut off his next head, but Orville makes popcorn, so shut up. You caught a total of three ghosts. Oh, look, it's teaching us math. Okay, so we got 3,200,000. We got 5,900,000. Lord, Luigi, I'd retire right then. We're gonna save. Okay, everybody. Now I'm gonna make sure and I'm gonna pray this recorded, y'all. And it did. It recorded perfectly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all of us. Anyways, guys, this has been a fun first episode of Luigi's Mansion. You know how to ask if you want it. You know, if y'all want to see more Luigi's Mansion, the retro series open to all retro episodes and everything, I'm more than willing to do it. Now, I'm going to be segueing off of this. I'm probably letting my hair down because, you know, I don't know if you noticed, my hair is actually... St there it is. I let my hair down and we'll be doing a Sunless Skies episode after this. Because you know me, I got to spice everything up. But anyways, guys, it's been great having you. I've had a blast as always. I always love sharing just part of my day with you guys. And I hope I might have made you smile. I hope I might have made you, you know, any emotional reaction other than revulsion. Or just or intense hate is very welcome. Hell, even if you hate me, like and subscribe so you can hate me some more. Anyways, I will see you all later. And this is coming to a close on episode one of Luigi's Mansion in the retro series of GoPro Gaming. Ta-ta for now. And I will wave my PS4 controller. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>